Hey everybody, welcome back. This week we're talking about the top comics of February 3rd, 2021. Let's dive right into my top picks of the week. It is a very big week this week, so hang in there with me while we talk about some of the highlights. Uh, but just keep it in mind, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, comment if you like, and let's get right into it. So to kick off the week, I am going to just group all of the Star Wars comics together. So Star Wars Adventures number three, Star Wars High Republic number two, and Star Wars High Republic Adventures number one all come out this week. Check them out. They are, they all seem very fun. They all seem really great. But Star Wars this week is on fire. Star Wars is always on fire. After the Mandalorian uh, ended its season, it has just consistently been hot, hot, hot. Uh, once High Republic number one came out, hot, hot, hot. Uh, High Republic number one second print sold out. And it just keeps going out from here. That Star Wars Adventures number three has a really cool um, Obi-Wan Kenobi cover, which people could lead into the series. It also has a really cool Darth Maul variant. Uh, Star Wars High Republic number two has a regular cover plus a 1 in 25, which is already going for an outstanding $100 on eBay. And the Star Wars High Republic Adventures number one has a cover A and a very cute 1 in 10 Yoda cover. And that cover is already selling for $20, $25 on eBay. So good luck hunting for those ones. They're going to be a little tough to find, a little easier to find than number one of the High Republic. But it is a very special week for Star Wars, and I just want to highlight that. Next pick is going to be Deep Beyond number one. It is a new image number one title. It's written by Mirka Andolfo and David Goy. And Mirka Andolfo is one of my favorite writers slash artists to this date right now. I think she just does some really unique work. And uh, this one actually sounds really fantastic. They're going to be doing art uh, by Andreo Broccanardo who is the artist of Star Wars Dr. Aphra. And she has been slowly picking up some heat. And this storyline just seems super interesting. It's about an un underpopulated future Earth, devastated by the dire consequences of Millennium Bug, the survival of mankind. And maybe the planet itself is handled by a small number of people. It's very sci-fi, futuresque, underwater themed, and I'm super interested. Next up is going to be Maniac of New York, number one. It is an aftershock book and is about four years ago, a mass slasher began stalking the streets of New York City. He pretty much looks like Jason Voorhees and I'm all on board. I love aftershock. I think they can put out some really great stuff. But they also put out some bummers, but a lot of sleepers as well. And this one has a one in 15 variant cover with that really cool Jason looking mask. So I would be on the watch for that one. Uh, last to round up my top picks is going to be a small, very, very small book called Encoded Number no. 1. It is an incredibly small print run, and there is some incredible covers. Cover A is done by Phil Hester, and cover B is done by Joel Humberto Herrera, who just looks to be very special. His art seems very unique in a way, very 3D, uh, very esque, pinup esque, and I do really enjoy it. The concept sounds pretty interesting about an AI in the future of 2045, and I'm really just excited to see how this one is going to grow in the secondary market as well because it is such a low print run and I think a lot of people slept on it. Uh, cover A you could order as many as you want and then cover B you were able to match the amount of order of cover A. So if you ordered one you could get one and I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't realize that you could order the cover B as well so that one's probably going to be the hottest one of the week. Now into our series spotlight. We're going to kick it off with Strange Academy number 8. After the last issue that came out last Wednesday, holy cow. I am excited to see how this one ends up. And we are going to see what happens to Doyle, who... Yeah, don't want to spoil too much, but uh, keep reading that Strange Academy. Scotty Young, Humberto Ramos, fantastic team. Uh, Sonya Versal's on my series spotlight this week has tons of first appearance of different red Sonyas, blue Sonya, green Sonya, hellspawn Sonya. They all sound really cool to me. I'm on board. If the writing is really good, I'll keep going at it, but I definitely want to check out the number one. 
Spectre Inspectors seems like a really great boom number one that comes out this week. Sounds a lot like Scooby-Doo. I grew up with Scooby-Doo. I'm so on board for this. Anything boom number ones, I'm usually picking them up. Redemption number one, it's a new AWA upshot. Got some incredible covers by Frank Cho and Mike Deodoro Jr., who I just I really enjoy these covers quite a bit and I love female antagonists and as well as like a Wild West storyline so super on board with that can't wait Luna number one also comes out another boom comic it is from the creator uh, Maria Lovett she is the artist of Faithless and she will be doing the art and writing on this amazing Jenny Fryson super hippies uh, cover B love that cover Transformers Beast Wars number one is going to make my list this week as well. It's pretty much a childhood memory for me, so I'm very excited to see all of those in comic book form. Also, Keenan Black Gwenom versus Carnage number two. Uh, you're finally going to see the fight between Gwenom and Mary Jane Carnage, which is going to be the battle of the girlfriends, which I think is super funny. Plus, there is that one in ten that is catching a lot of heat on the secondary market on eBay. So, if you can find that, check that out. Another really surprise sleeper, I think, is going to be Marvel Action Origins number one. It is going to be the origin story for both Spider-Man and Thanos knows yet again but in a more child-friendly versions and I do think that a lot of adults are gonna pick this up as well though it's mainly for all ages what can I say I'm a kid at heart so I'm excited and as for our next segment I'm gonna include some late printings that I do think that you should check out and be on the lookout for Maze's Spider-Man number 55 second print that Gleason variant cover it's that nice red one, but there's also a 1 in 50 white and black one, which is really great. And if a store was able to order 50 of those, congratulations, because I could not. And, uh, but it was, it looks like a really great cover and I'm really excited. Uh, a Girl Walks Home at Night, number one second print. Number one caught heat very quickly, so the second print I'm sure will be very underordered and very not looked out for. It does not pop up on like FOC. You have to look at the new to order list all the time because that one is definitely going to be a sleeper. Not many people order that. Future State Wonder Woman number one second print. Uh, there is a couple of other Future State number one second prints like Swamp Thing and Next Batman, but I do think this Wonder Woman one looks the best as well as I think this would be the one to pick up a little more heat because it is technically her first appearance still. And last but not least, TMNT, The Last Ronin number one third print, has an incredible Kevin Eastman variant cover to it. And I think if you haven't picked up this comic yet, what are you waiting for? I think number two comes out next week. And you need to read this, because this comic is on fire, and I absolutely love it. And I can't wait for number two. And that's going to be all of our comics this week, so it's a very large week, and I'm sorry if I sped this up too quickly. I just want to make sure that I'm able to bullet point all of the great comics that are coming out. So I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you here next week.